Hey there, Psych2Go family. Before we begin, we'd like to let you know that we really are grateful for all the love and support you've given us. Here at Psych2Go, our mission is to make content on mental health more accessible to everyone. So let's continue. When you've got something big on your mind, being called an overthinker makes you feel invalidated, frustrated, and disappointed in yourself. But how do you know whether or not you are overthinking? In this video, we've put together an objective list designed to give you perspective on your own thoughts. With these 10 signs, you can figure out whether you might be overthinking or not. One, you have stressful daydreams. Do you daydream about the future? Everyone daydreams from time to time. You dream about succeeding in your career, meeting your soulmate, or living the lifestyle you've always imagined. These healthy daydreams feel happy and uplifting, but overthinkers daydream in a different way. Instead of looking fondly into the future, overthinkers imagine every way something could go wrong. Their negative daydreams create all kinds of unnecessary stress. In other words, they worry about the future way before it actually happens. If you're imagining all the ways your dreams could go wrong, you may be overthinking. Two, you feel vulnerable. Overthinking places you in a vulnerable state of mind. You're trying to solve your problems, but it feels like you're not making any progress. You feel angry and helpless, which tanks your mood and brings deep insecurities to the surface. In moments like these, people may overreact to small problems or get defensive when loved ones offer a helping hand. If you're feeling especially vulnerable, you may be overthinking. So step back and take a breath. Then you may realize things aren't as bad as they seem. Three, you're indecisive. Have you gone back and forth 20 times on the same decision? Overthinking ruins your ability to make firm, decisive choices. When all the options are swirling through your head, it feels like there's no right answer. Like every solution is just another dead end. If you're stuck wondering what path to follow, you may be overthinking. Or you can't concentrate. Most people overthink when trying to solve a problem in their life, but overthinking actually hurts your concentration. A 2003 study by Liam Bomersky and others found that overthinking, also known as rumination, damages your ability to focus. When you're overthinking, your brain gets cluttered and distracted, so you stop making progress. You stop moving forward. If you're spending all your time thinking and none of your time doing, you're probably overthinking. Five, you're constantly anxious. How often do you feel anxious? Hundreds of studies have discovered links between overthinking, also known as rumination, and anxiety. When you feel insecure or doubtful about something, your anxiety stimulates nervous, unhelpful thoughts. Not only do these thoughts cloud your judgment, they also create even more anxiety. In other words, anxiety and rumination feed off each other, while heavily impacting your mood and motivation. A book by Nolan Hoxima explains that ruminators have significantly more anxiety than the average person. So if your thoughts are making you anxious, you may be thinking too much. Six, your bad mood won't go away. Have you been in a bad mood all week? According to a 2000 study by Davis and Nolan, people who ruminate experience longer, more intense periods of negativity. They find themselves stuck in a rut for days or weeks on end. The problem is people cope with negativity by overthinking, but overthinking only worsens your state of mind. If your bad mood just won't go away, you may be overthinking. Seven, you avoid things you like. When you're overthinking, your thoughts take over your life. It may feel like you can't do anything but focus on these unsolvable problems. Even your favorite activities start to lose their spark. A 1993 study by Leon Bumersky and Nolan found that people avoid their hobbies when they're overthinking. Whether you like to write, paint, or exercise, your passion begins to dwindle because your mind is clouded by doubt and anxiety. If you're thinking so much that you start to avoid your favorite activities, you might be overthinking. Eight. You reinterpret old memories. Are you revisiting old memories? Are you rethinking the past, wondering what went wrong? This is a very common sign of overthinking. A 2006 study by Starr and Maltz found that ruminators, especially those struggling with anxiety and depression, replay past events in their heads. If you're revisiting embarrassing moments and missed opportunities, you're probably overthinking. Nine, you want a deeper reason are you searching for some deeper understanding of yourself? 
The same 1993 study by Leon Bomarski and Nolan found that ruminators search for a deeper meaning that doesn't exist. You're looking for some grand resolution to your problems, something to lift your mood and relieve your anxiety, but the problem is usually your own train of thought. And 10, you've experienced this before. If you're overthinking now, you've probably done it before. The same 2000 study by Davis and Nolan found that overthinkers ruminate over and over and over again. Each time you run into a problem, mental or physical, you may overthink and drive your mood into the ground. So think back on the last time you felt the way you do now. Was it yesterday? The week before? How often do you worry that you're overthinking? If this is something you've experienced on a regular basis, you might be overthinking now too. Do you relate to any of these signs? Have you ever caught yourself overthinking? How did you know? Tell us about your experiences in the comments section below. If you have someone in your life who's overthinking and you wanna be there for them, offer them a hug or a shoulder to cry on. Help them see that there is hope and that things will get better. Let them know you care about them and that they're not alone in this. You might not completely understand or know what to say, but it'll mean a lot to them if you show them that they're not alone and that you truly do care. And if you know someone who may benefit from online counseling, we actually partnered up with BetterHelp, an affordable online counseling platform that you could utilize. They're constantly striving to improve their services and terms and conditions. The link will be in the description below.